I have killed about 20 people. Is that enough for you? For me? Oh, well, an even lesser body count would have sufficed. Okay, my idea for you is simple. You'll become our spy in the Sindakos. You'll stay with them and pretend everything's been. But in reality, you's going to work with us. Hmm, okay. And what if they'll tell me to do the same to you? What are the fucking odds? Fair point, Vinny. My people are collecting debts from some fucks right now. They need a driver. Grab the car I have left for you and pick up my boys. Then get them to the garage in Harwood, okay? about someone with an Irish face wearing a costume just killed about well a lot of my people on my territory for some reason I think that was you you perfectly know what Polly tasked me to do how else did you fucking imagine my mission you think I really want to hear anything about this you think I really want to lose my power because of Polly we have to deal with that shit let's meet at the doll's house I'll be waiting for you and do not even try to miss our meeting there
Ferelli. I'm tired of his shit already. Franco Ferelli. Shit, Polly's fucking tired of him too. Oh, then Polly Sindaco can go and tell him to say thank you to me. Thank you for what? For this new trick we will execute quite soon. That prick stole Sal's whiskey van. I think I already know who will find it. Yeah, I will give you the location. Steal it and bring to me, okay? Here you are. We have trouble with Salvatore's wife. She's getting bald by Frank each Tuesday. Is there anything worse than that? Excuse me, what? I will pretend I have not heard that. She's involved into stealing some shit. Stealing someone's heart, hey! Shut up, you bitch. I mean shoplifting. She is in Chinatown, and you better do something before the cops do her, if you get what I mean. Save her, but hey, do not even touch her, even if she wants to. You have helped me a lot. I was not prepared to pay for that bitch yet again. Thanks, M Mr. Leon. Son, visit me anytime personally. We have things to talk about, okay?
Oh, the worst of the worst is here. Glad enough? I talked about the last incident with Polly. After all, I'm not that angry with you. Weird to see your opinion changing so fast. What would he have for me now? Franco talked with Polly, too. Basically, the peace is possible. If we both strike the Leones, they are dead meat. Glad to hear, but what about me? Franco wants to tell us something about that shit, and guess who will listen to it all? They are meeting in St. Mark's. Good luck. came on behalf of Frank Sindaco. Negotiations is what I need. Negotiations? Negotiations with you? Franco won't do deals with fucking Sindacos. Boys, give him a lesson he deserves. and Leones. Well, I understand Leones being bad guys, but what about the Triads? It's all about drugs. We have decided to trade in Chinatown. It's easy to understand who's in competition with us. Oh, uh, what can you do? Since you are here, it's all obvious. Trade drugs to key folks in the area. One fast punch and it's done. my lunch. And what if others overrun me? You should understand nothing good will happen, and for you too.
problem over here. Can you come to the payphone at the bus station? I know that Tony Cipriani is half dead already, Joseph. The heck you talking about? He is in the city for quite a long time already, and if we will not cut his throat, he will cut ours. Maybe not ours, but those of our friends. You've done anything about that then? Well, set two bombs near his house, boom, and he is dead. Ha ha, bye dude, I gotta go. You're slacking, I'm knacking. Shit! I can't just let Tony die. If he'll turn up dead, Leonis will realize one thing. The most likely suspect is me! all of the bombs. Say what? Everything was going fine. His intuition is so damn fucking good, but Polly will deal with it himself. Our goal now is Dan Sucho. Sucho? That racer? And what could he do? He? Nothing. Fast Mickey did. I had great wage on him, but he got fucking ill today, but my money are gone. Oh, so someone should replace Mickey. Yeah, and that is going to be you. They are meeting in Chinatown already. Now!
Oh, here you are. You'll drive together with me. Drive? Where to? Sal managed to strike a deal with them dockers, and that creates a problem for all of us. Oh, you want to have a talk with them? Well, of course something will go wrong. And that is why I asked you to go with us. Come on, let's drive. Hey, everyone here? Then let's go to the discussion with those fools. J.D., go with Marcus. Leonis, Mr. Salvatore gives us protection. Fuck! That was a trap right from the beginning. J.D., reach our boys and ask for reinforcements. And I, I will help Frank and Polly. Come on, go! Glad you're alive, Marcus. Have you seen Frank? And where is JD? JD went for reinforcements, Frank. I will find him right fucking now. Marcus, and hey, where is JD? It's all good. He called for reinforcements, but we should leave these damn docks first, though. J.D., I've told Frank and Paula you'll come with manpower. Leonis blocked all the exits. Sorry, at least we will get out of here fast. I've had enough of adventures. I'd prefer to continue playing blackjack at the casino. Brother, who would have thought it would go like that? Screw these unions. 